The record industry, a money-making boom baby for the last 25 years, has hit its first sour note. Prices are up, sales are down. It's a little slow now, uh, probably from the gas crunch and all that. You know, everyone isn't going out and buying, you know, on the spur of the moment, uh, impulse buying. They've really planned it out this time. The raw material of disco and pop, the records, and the recording artist all cost more. This Hialeah pressing plant even recycles the bad prints because vinyl pellets, the stuff melted into those $7 plus albums, are a petroleum product, increasingly expensive and hard to get. We did it. It was, uh, it was so there was a five second delay on every word. Yeah. The biggest factor in the high cost of records is the star. When the Bee Gees make an album at Miami's Criteria Studios, it's a guaranteed bestseller. But not every recording artist is worth his weight in gold, and producers can no longer afford to take chances. I think groups are going to start making their records by themselves instead of going to a record company looking for money. I think they're going to get the, the go to the studio, make the record, go to the record company and say, here's our record, would you like to buy it? And there's that way there's less chance of the record companies uh, putting out Astro Bucks, as we call it, to make a record that may be a flop. They're going to they're going to hear a finished product and say, well, I like it or I don't like it. The recording studios are getting more selective because record buyers are thinking twice about what good sound costs these days. It's called trimming the fat, and a new focus on quality rather than quantity might even bring those inflated prices down. Beverly McFarland, Channel 4 News.